Are you making those champagne wishes and caviar dreams yet? Tonight's Powerball jackpot will make that a possibility for whoever wins. <laughs> and that's because it's more than a billion dollars. Wow, it is the fourth biggest jackpot ever in the U.S., in oh. fact. KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal live in Pico Robertson this afternoon, where she's been talking to hopeful players today. Jasmine? I mean, look how crowded the lot is behind me. Most everyone going inside to get that Powerball ticket. They have a few more hours to buy one. So you know the rules. you got to match all six numbers to get that $1.2 billion jackpot. And I love how the ticket here clearly states, clearly states your odds. And they're not good. Uh, we checked out the crowds at a nearby retailer, a lucky one, earlier today. Check it out. Let me give one uh, Powerball pick, uh, pick, pick. A busy day inside the 777 market on La Brea Avenue. This is where one lucky person who bought a Powerball ticket won $790,000 in Monday's drawing after matching five of the six numbers. I got it. I got it here. Even more of those Powerball tickets selling today. I got Powerballs and, and regular lottos. With an estimated jackpot of $1.2 billion, it's the second largest ever in Powerball history. We found people spending hundreds of dollars from an office pool. 13, 14, 15. $360. So 180 tickets. Two, just a couple bucks on a single ticket. With 1.2 bill, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta spend two dollars. The chance of hitting Powerball's jackpot is one in 292 million, which is why this guy says he doesn't even play. Just I'm not that type of person. But if you are super lucky and win, financial expert Bob Wheeler, CEO of the MoneyNerve.com, has some advice. Interestingly, uh, lotto winners go broke over time, but you gotta really figure out your mental map. Uh, about whether taking lump sum or taking an annuity. He says winners of giant jackpots nearly always take the cash option, which means less money. We're all going to pay that top rate of 37% uh, federally for sure. Um, and you definitely lose some money if you go with the lump sum, right? It's about 70%. Of, of the annuity. Still, inflation has prompted a rise in interest rates, which in turn results in potentially larger investment gains. And if I take that lump sum instead of the annuity and I can put the money into high yield interest accounts right now or private notes or different things that are going to pay me a higher yield right now, certainly I'm going to get a better return on my money. With inflation, you will be spending more of your winnings. For example, a new luxury car will cost you over $65,000 these days, and the median cost for a home in L.A. is a million dollars. When you win the lottery, don't think of it as disposable income. But you got to win first. You have the winning ticket? Absolutely, without question. Okay, so if no one wins tonight, then this is going to turn into the largest Powerball jackpot ever. That's beating out the $1.5 billion jackpot back in 2016 that three people won, including a local person in Chino Hills. So we'll see what happens. Good luck to everyone. <laughs> Live here in Pico Robertson, Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News. Yeah, good luck to everyone. Jasmine, thank you so much.